So my name is Alex. I'm the lead product guy for Rocky Mountain Bicycles, and uh, we we're just wrapping up a couple of days riding here in Arizona. So the Sherpa was designed primarily as sort of an off the beaten path, uh, bike packing, off road touring, play bike. Uh, you know, I'm not going to pretend that we invented the category of bike packing. The notion of hauling all your camping gear on your bike, self-supported, multi-day adventures. But I'd like to think that we gave it our own little Rocky Mountain twist. We made a fun, playful, agile bike that you can still get, you know, rat on in the woods, but still, you know, loaded up with all your gear to move from camp to camp. There's going to be a lot of talk in the next year about the new 27 plus wheels, and we the way Rocky Mountain works is we don't generally build bikes around wheel sizes. We use the wheel size as a tool to get the bikes to handle the way they do. You know, it really sets it apart. It's a true full suspension performance bike, carbon fiber front end, lightweight 27 plus setup. You know, it's full tubeless with the 45 millimeter rim. So light rotating weight, you know, low to the ground, fun, fast, furious bike. So we landed in Phoenix and headed up to a small town called Prescott, Arizona. And from there, we jumped on what's called the Black Canyon Trail. And it was a pretty cool experience. You know, we had the Godfather, Wade. We had the kid, Gully, the Zen master, Andreas. And I was the lowly product dork taking notes at the back of the pack. And while the trails in North Van are treacherous and are trying to kill you, it's pretty different in Arizona. The trails aren't so much treacherous, but the environment is. Everything's trying to poke you and stab you and bite you and sting you. The 27 Plus is essentially an oversized 27.5 tire and the outer diameter is similar to 29 inch so that's why we're able to adapt one of our existing platforms, the Element, and morph it into this new Sherpa concept. We sat down at the computer and had a good long look at the geometry and the tire clearances and everything to make sure it would all work when we started the project. On the rear end of the bike we spaced it out to accommodate 3.25 tires with a front derailleur and a two-ring setup. This is an off-road touring bike, you want a super wide gear range. We increased the tire clearance, but we stuck with a standard traditional 142 hub. The idea being that if ever you're gonna suffer a failure in outer Kazakhstan, chances are you're gonna suffer a hub failure long before a crank arm failure. And you're gonna be able to find replacement hubs much more easily in a 142. Until such time as 148 really becomes available everywhere, we're gonna stick with the 142 on this bike. So the first time the world caught a glimpse of the Sherpa was a year ago at the Sea Otter Classic when we showed it as a concept bike. And here we are 12 months later and I'm pretty proud to see my little pet project come to fruition. It was a pretty cool experience. We um, had a great time down in Arizona and uh, one of the things that really surprised me was how the bike performed like a performance mountain bike should even when fully loaded. In other words, the bike rips. It's not just a painful slog to go see sights. I think what Sherpa does is it allows you to really enjoy the mountain biking along the way. At the end of the day, that's why we built the bikes, that we're all mountain bikers at heart and we're, you know, want to hit single track and have a good time. And so that's what we tried to put into the bike and I think we, uh, we managed to do it.